State's Kent Pierce is live in Denver this morning with more. Kent. Yeah, that's pretty miraculous, Kristen and Kristen. Nobody on the ground was hurt. And when you see the video, you'll understand why. Let me first point out that is Worcester Heights Road back there, blocked off this morning because just up that road is where the wreckage of this plane that crashed last night sits in the middle of this lady's front yard. Take a look at what it looks like this morning. You can, it's such a strange sight. Part of the fuselage is under a blue tarp there, but you can still see the wing assembly upside down in the front yard with one of the wheels sticking straight up into the air. That crash happened about eight o'clock last night. The single engine plane flying from Maryland and was supposed to land at Danbury Airport came within about a mile. The Danbury News Times says the plane clipped an airport beacon tower, scraped a house, and then crashed right there. It killed the pilot. He was the only one on board. Unfortunately, no one else got hurt, but this whole neighborhood did get shaken up. I heard a big boom. It sounded like an explosion. Uh, the pilot's upside down on the airplane. The plane's upside down, broken into a few pieces. It's in pieces, the propeller, it's just, it's awful. It's, it's very scary to like see. Now that plane was a Cirrus SR-22. It's a single engine plane registered to a company in Kansas. The pilot has not been identified yet. The newspaper says that there was a woman home in that house, a 91-year-old woman sitting there balancing her checkbook when all of a sudden this plane crashed and came within just inches of her house. But fortunately, no one on the ground hurt. The NDSB is going to be out here investigating later on this morning. Live in Danbury, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.